Welcome back everybody, Broadbent here. Today is a very special day. We just got hit with the pre-release of version 1.0 of The Forest, which means basically it's got a, a percentage, I think, of the content that's going to be in the final build of The Forest. I think some of the stuff they're holding back, there's going to be another release tomorrow. So, this is your one and only spoiler warning for this video. If you don't want to know anything to do with the story, click away right now, because this is going to reveal everything. So, we're going to be covering the alternate ending of The Forest, which just got added. And if you haven't seen the original ending, you need to go and see that first, because that covers how I get to this point right here. So go ahead, click the card at the top right of the screen and watch my original video on the ending and that will bring you up to this point. When you get to here in that video, go ahead and transfer over here or you could watch the whole thing. So let's go ahead to the artifact here. And oh wow, that is loud. That is very loud. Now, in the old ending, there was just this. They've updated the, uh, the UI a little bit here. We've got three matches to revive Timmy. So, this presents us with a choice. We could either bring down the plane, or shut down the artifact. Now, this is live and ready, so we already know what happens with this ending. Let's go ahead and shut down the artifact. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to do my absolute best to reduce or eliminate all jump cuts so you get the entire experience. There may be a few silent parts, but let's go ahead. There we go. The artifact has been shut down. Now, in the original ending, oh, it's like turned to stone. In the original ending, we've got an elevator over there. Now, in the original ending, we took down a plane, so I assume that plane is safe and sound now. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the elevator here. As soon as that's the only other thing we can do, we can't go back into that one. Let's go in and use our keycard right here. Let's go ahead and put the flashlight on here. Now, I don't know if it's taking us back into the lab. That would be interesting. Maybe there's a, a hidden part of the lab. There is a lot of doors in there. So maybe this is a secret area. Just wait. Wow, we are so deep down here. Got a lot of rustling, a lot of sound effects. I'm going to go ahead and get the torch out for you here. Maybe it's a little bit brighter. Yeah, I think that's probably a little bit more suitable. Uh, so, we've got some junk here by the looks of it. A few books. And, like an incubator? I'm not sure what that is. That's interesting. Uh, so, let's continue down into the cave here. There's only one way we can go. Oh, we've got a few... Oh, I can equip both. Look at that. Cheeky. Let's keep on going. Uh, it's getting kind of dark down here. I feel like it's really dark, actually. Oh, there we go. That's much better. I've put the Blockbuster filter on for you. And that should be a little bit brighter. What? Like a crevasse. Let's go ahead and climb down. Now, maybe this is uh, the Red Bands area. This could be... A like a hidden spot. I, I really don't know what to expect down here. Uh, as you can see, the cloth is also red, which is a huge part of the update. HUGE part of the update. Uh, it looks like we've got to go underwater here. So let's go ahead and get the rebreather on. I don't think we can go anywhere else. So, we can go left or right by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to be anything that way, so let's go this way. This is such a weird experience to be in a new cave, you know? Like in a game that's been out for so long, or like in a bit early access, it feels weird. Because we don't really get many new caves at all. Uh, and this is very interesting. 
So, let's keep going. Someone's had coffee down here. Maybe a worker? Okay. Uh... Let's go down here. I want to check out what's at the bottom here. Man, this cave. I think we're a bit cold. We've got a door up ahead. So we've got this door right here from the climbing rope. Now this, I must admit, I had to cheat for. The key to get through this door, which I have in my inventory, is not in this current build of the game. You cannot get it legitimately. So I had to spawn it in. And that is this right here. The artifact, question mark, question mark, question mark. We can hold it in our hand right here. It's uh, very, very interesting. So let's go ahead and pop it down. Now you cannot get this in legitimately in the game. We have a very strange noise up ahead. Sounds like it's coming from up there, to be honest, but... Let's go ahead and pick this up. What is... Is that a weapon? Have we got a new weapon? Okay, I can... I can mess around with it a little bit here. Looks like we've got nowhere else to go through this area. So let's climb back up this rope here and get back to the area. I'm just, I'm just gonna pop this away. So there it is in our inventory, the artifact. We've got a new artifact. It glows blue or red. Yeah, so we can also press C and pop it down. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, we can't do that in here by the looks of it. So let's pop that away. Okay, it's a lot of coffee down here. A lot of coffee. So, apparently a lot of people have been down here. It's not a secret area. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going through this uh, tunnel here. Got a lot of collapsed beams here that looks very peculiar. Very strange rock formation. Very strange. Ah, we've got what appears to be... A breakable wall. We see these in the caves quite a lot. High explosives. Dangerous. How convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and just get some dynamite and blow this bad boy out of the water. Jeez. That would have knocked me out. Alright then. Let's go ahead. And proceed. Wait. Why have we got snow? I can hear wind. We must be near the, uh, near the surface. Hey. Is that it? Are we, are we done? So there we go, that is the full alternate ending for The Forest, that's a new content added to the game. Now I want you to let me know which you think is better, this one or the other one where we bring down the plane. Personally I think this one suits it a little bit better and plus you get the bonus of being able to carry on your save. Now when you're in that mountain base up on the top with the, uh, the artifact above you, the choice you have to make is very difficult. So you either attempt to bring down that plane and find a survivor to resurrect Timmy, your son you've been fighting for this entire time. Now if you go ahead and bring down that plane, you have become the person that put yourself in this situation in the first place, the red man. You have become the red man. 
So you're also dooming some other survivors, if they survive the plane crash, to have the same fate as you. Or you could go for this option and accept it for what it is. Your son's dead. You're not going to mess around with any artifact to resurrect him. And you just accept it and go about your day and become a recluse on this desolate island for the rest of your life. I think that is a great, great ending for this game. So if you enjoyed this ending playthrough, make sure to press that like button below. It really does help the channel grow. And let me know what you think to this ending in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.